Hello, welcome back to Val Talks, and I have some more questions. But before I ask them, I do want to state that we as Black women, we are confused. I know that we think that we're not, but we are a walking contradiction. So here are my questions. Question one, what do Black women want from Black men? What do Black women want from Black men? We as Black women, we will say we no longer want to be a stay-at-home wife. We want to be bosses. We want to be entrepreneurs. And we want to obtain the bag. We will spew out vitriol and we will say that we don't need a man. But in the same breath, we will complain about how men are not living up to our standards. If we don't need or want a man, why do we have standards for men? On the other hand, we will set these high standards for men, but we don't want to adhere to the standards that they set for us. Make it make sense, please. Question two, why do we continue to say we want to be married, but we're not willing to do or be what it takes to be married? Going back to standards, most men, regardless of race, have the same basic standards. Men are not complicated. We as women, we are. Men, for the most part, they want women to be friendly because they want someone nice to be around. If they wanted to be around someone who is mean, mugging, masculine person with an attitude all the time, they can go to other men for that. They want their women to be fit. I'm not understanding why this is such a stick up our asses, but men are visual creatures, period. It's that simple. They want to be inspired. I mean, who doesn't want to be inspired? Why would anyone want to be around someone who's a dream crusher? And lastly, they want agreeability. This is not to say that we as women cannot disagree with men, but having an attitude all the time and nagging and being confrontational is a headache for anyone, man or woman, and no one wants that. These are not hard ask. They're very simple. Question three, why do black women believe that dating outside their race is better than dating a black man? We will say we no longer want to date a black man, but we don't realize that men are men, period. And most men want the same thing. Most men who are seeking wives view marriage as a duty and therein lies the problem. A lot of black women do not view marriage as a duty. Men across the color spectrum are seeking someone who is disciplined, fit and friendly and submissive. Oh, sorry. I meant to say agreeable. That's another issue. Because we as women, we do not like when a man says submissive. When really all he's saying is, I just want someone who's not confrontational all the time. He's not saying be submissive where he's going to beat you over the head, where you're, you know, with a club and put you in, you know, drag you over to the, to the uh, cave. We're not living in, in the stone ages. Men today just want someone who's agreeable, want someone who's not as confrontational. And it's not to say that you can't be disagreeable or you can't disagree. It's how you approach the situation to them. They do not want a headache. I'm still not understanding why this is an issue for us or why the word submission <laughs> is an issue for us. If you don't like submission, say agreeable. Question four, why do we continue to be oblivion about the real statuses of our desirability in today's market when it comes to men? Why do black women decide to be oblivion about the real status of our desirabilities in today's market when it comes to black or when it comes to men, period, not just black men? I mean, I know this may hurt and I'm married, so it hurts me to even hear how we as black women are the least desirable. 
But at some point, I take my feelings, I put them to the side, and I look at real statistics, and I look at what's going on in the world. I'm very observant as to what is going on in the world and how we are perceived to other people. However, we will sit here, we will brag about our education, our high paying jobs, and we are fooling ourselves because black women on an average makes about 36 to $46,000 a year. And frankly, men can care less about how much you make and your degrees. I mean, they keep saying this. Other women are saying it as well. And we still just continue to say, oh, what I bring to the table is I have a master's degree. I'm desirable because I have, I make six figures. I have my own business. And you sound like a man. They don't care about that. Also, we will not own up to the fact that we have the highest rate of single motherhood, which is 56%. We also have the highest rate of obesity, which is more than half at 56.9%. And we will not deal with the fact that men find us masculine. And it's just difficult and, and we're difficult to deal with. Yes, these may be statistics and these may be issues that we're tired of hearing. Yes, we as black women feel like we're being beat up on. Yes, we as black women feel like we're not being protected. Yes, we as black women feel like we're at the bottom of the totem pole. But if we're gonna sit here and continue to, to be all up in our feelings, continue to still have an attitude, not look at statistics, not look at what, or listening to what people are saying and what men are saying, we're, we're not going to get anywhere. We're not gonna get anywhere. Why do we, number five, my question, my last question is why do we as black women continue to say that we're the least protected and ask black men to protect us if we're not willing to listen to them? We, men can't protect someone that, that is not willing to listen to them. And most black men are not gonna protect some random chick on the street. He's gonna protect his wife. He's gonna protect someone he loves, someone he's with, someone he's responsible for. He's not gonna protect Shaniqua out on the corner or some chick in the mall. He's not going to do that. So if we want protection, we have to be under the covering of men. Otherwise, women, go get yourself a gun, learn how to train or learn martial arts or jujitsu or something like that. But stop asking men to protect you if you're not willing to listen to them. We're not even willing to listen to men just on a regular basis about how they feel about us and we're asking for their protection. Make it make sense. These things may be hurtful for us to hear. And again, we may feel beat up on, we may feel criticized, but our defense response is to act like we don't care. We claim we don't need a man. We put walls up and we criticize black men instead of being vulnerable and letting our guards down and having a deeper conversation with men with our men, there is no other race that's out there just disregarding their men like it's nothing because other races of women understand that they need those men. And we aren't over here talking about we don't need men. What the hell? Admitting that we are hurt and changing our behavior so that we can change the trajectory of where our men is going is the only solution to the issues that we are facing with our men. But we continue to ref and, and refuse to see the writing on the wall. That will be the bug that bites us in the ass in the future. So I ask you, black women, what do you want? What do you want? 